opening. Here's the unveiling of the gazelle gazebo. We so unveiled that we still have a bunch of freaking. <laughs> I don't know what. Well, that's part of the. So that's the middle, right? This is gonna be the. Yeah, it has to be. The roof up. Okay. What are these for? An awning, maybe, or maybe the center. Okay. We don't know what we're doing. It's better than that thing, though. Yeah, it's giant. Okay, this is very interesting for one person to put up. I don't know where the entrance is. Found it. This is the entrance, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The best thing about the gazelles is these zippers. Yeah. The zippers are really nice. They're very quality grade. Wow. Here, let me give you a little help here. A little bit. Okay, and we are up. It's huge. So as Paul mentioned, the zippers on these are very very durable. Going inside. So the metal poles that came with it actually go here around the doorway to support the doorway. It's reinforced in all the corners. It's good. There's no floor on the bottom so you won't get anything muddy. It's a very tall ceiling. I can't even reach the ceiling. I'm also only 5'7", so that but yeah a mosquito net in the summer stay bug free for all the camping we do yeah very quality product highly recommended there is an optional gazebo cover for the sides that velcro on here and as stated so he's bringing out the poles as you can see they go around the entryway right here to support it so that it doesn't curve in on itself. Huh? Oh, right here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is there something for, on the bottom? Rip the hole. 